Welcome everyone, I'm Commander Mad Mace, and today we are doing a Let's Play of Eevee. It is developed by Chilla's Art, which if, if you've watched any big name YouTubers, you've probably seen a few of their newer works being played. So I decided I wanted to go back and play some of their originals, and according to Steam, this was the first one they had put out on Steam. And from what I read of this, the, the character you play as, she goes through some mind-boggling event that leads her to, it says, open Pandora's box. I guess, let's see what happens. Let's get into it. What happened to my bike? How does that happen? Well, I guess... Not really a mountain bike, so I don't know if I would have uh, taken it off road here. Uh, seems to be your, your first problem there. Man. game I have to say uh, looks phenomenal so far but I can definitely tell the it's got a creepy vibe to it date October 10th daily report today's work has been cancelled due to lack of workers oh interesting I wonder if uh I'm assuming the ones with the check mark showed up the ones that didn't well, I guess they just decided to take the day off. But why red? If they die on the job, what? Why red? That's not normally a good marker to use for crossing out a name. We have a murderer as a boss. Man, what is this? Am I going here? I guess not. How do I get back there? Date March 3rd, daily report. Can't contact Michael Dean. Henry Moss and Michael Dean's absence is slowing down the process. A little bit behind schedule. Henry Moore's health issues hasn't shown up for four days. Dude, dude he can't be a no call, no show. That's just, that's just wrong. That's just, just let him know you ain't gonna be there for a few days. Uh, you'll be fine. Shit happens. Let's say, kind of a... Game definitely needs, uh, I would say, a little bit of polish and stuttering as I move it. When I'm not moving, it looks great. I mean, it looks phenomenal, but as soon as you start moving, oof. Ooh, that blur effect. That's gonna hurt. Where do I go? Anything over here? What's this? Oh. Hey, day, January 12th, daily report. Henry left early due to a strong headache and vomiting. Working on the foundation, need concrete for tomorrow. Headache and vomit, that... Henry Moss, that sounds like a concussion, my guy. You might want to go get that checked out. It's not it's not a good thing to have. Alright, so do I go back this way? I have no idea what I'm doing. Can I fix my bike? There's my bike. Hey, can I fix you? I must have crashed hard. Wheel still spinning. Shoot dang. I'll shoot dang. Do I go over here to this building? What do I do? Is there a back entrance? Don't worry, entering through the rear. I guess not. 
Yeah. Hello. Anybody pooping? I'm not exactly sure. Oh. <laughs> Have I been stupid this whole time? I've always been stupid, but that's besides the point. Hello, ding dong, ding dong, bitch. Ding bong, ding dong. Hello. Anybody home? Oh. I finally found a way. Excuse me, who stepped on a cat? Hello? What's this? Rotate, rotate. The diary. The diary of Jane? Anything? Ooh, bunch of pages tore out. Rotate. Huh, interesting. Hello? I heard a cat scream. I'm sorry I disturbed your baby. Page one of 16. Oh, they must be spread apart. I was about to say, I'm not about to read 16 whole pages. <laughs> oh my God. January 10th, after countless fights, I'm finally freed from him. I don't even know how we even lasted five years. To celebrate this, I got rid of everything that had to do with him, but I couldn't get rid of that photo. I guess I do have some good memories with him, but he's still a dick. He left me knowing that I'm 17 weeks pregnant. Does he not care about the baby? I'm stressed out. What am I supposed to do with this baby? Should I consider an abortion? No, please don't. There's just too much going on right now. I don't know what to do. My life has been stressful ever since that asshole left the house. It's all his fault. That's a tough situation to be in, but I mean, if he's just an asshole, definitely don't take that out on the baby. That's, that'd be sad. Ooh, that's a cool picture. Is this the picture? A rotate? A rotate? Eh, it seems like a sharp dressed man right there. That was louder than what I expected it to be. Rotate. That's a nice necklace. Zoom. Close. So this. January 17th. It's a boy. The doctor told me that I can expect the baby in 20 weeks. I told mom about it and she was excited to become a grandma. Everything has been great ever since I broke up. All the worries I had a couple days ago is a thing in the past now. The only thing I need to worry now is to get a job. All right. Well, I'm, I'm glad you decided not to go along with, uh, an abortion. It sounds like you're going to be a happy mother, which is all. Oh, look at the adorable little crab. What is this? Camera? Rotate. Any, uh, what you got on here? You got, uh, you got yourself some, uh, some nudie pics. Is that why you keep the, the camera in your bedroom there? January 15th. This is just too much for me. Mom is the only person I can rely on. It was awkward to call her, but this time I had to. I thought she would be mad at me, but instead she cared for me. She reminisced about how she raised me and what she went through in some of the early chapters of my childhood. It warmed my heart. She even went on to say that she can take care of my child. It's embarrassing, but I started crying in the middle of the phone call. I just couldn't hold back my tears after all the encouragement she gave me. 
I can't believe how loving she is. I didn't talk to her for five years, and the first thing I do is ask for help about this terrible situation. If I was her, I'd be filled with disappointment. I want to become like her. I'm going to become a mother. I'm going to find a job while taking care of the baby. I'm going to give the baby the same love my mom gave me. That's, see, that's, that can be heartwarming. You, you can always count on your parents, no matter what. January 16th. Why does that one have a red six? Why? There's something about that day we need to know about. Now that I think about it, who needs that guy to help me raise my child? I can do it all by myself. I already applied for five jobs. I just have to wait till I get accepted. I also have some savings, so I'm okay with money. I'm also going to see the doctor tomorrow. Hopefully the baby's healthy. I can't wait. Well, from the other note we read, it seemed like the baby was healthy and you're having a, a little baby boy. So what's... Knowing some mind-boggling event happens here. And the fact there's a lock on this door and we heard a baby crying. What happens? That's that's what I want to know. What happens? Ooh. A broken door, okay. I see that note there. I'm going to read that in there in a minute. It's a microwave. What's this? Chicken noodle? I want some chicken noodle. What we got over here? You got some? Is that, is that some tuna? Oh, yeah. Good old tuna. Tomato soup. I'm always down for some tomato soup. Tomato soup is always good. Ooh. Is that a pear? Ooh. Uh, pears are my favorite. They will always be my favorite. What is that? Is that a piece of a pear? Can, can I nom it? Nom, 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 nom. That's some lettuce. Oh, man. That's some good looking chicken. And they even got the cellophane over the over the plate. That's attention to detail right there. That's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Why is that so loud? Stop it. Okay, I got a few notes I need to read in here. What is that? Sleep aid for nighttime use. It's not a good sign when you got to start taking sleep aid. It's really not. Okay, let's see. What else we got here? Did I get some diapers down there? What is this? Oh, cutie pie. Some pampers. Yeah, diapers. All the... Kept the bottle. Guess I'm going to need that. Ah, oh, bloody scissors! What? Why did you do? Why did I keep the scissors? I don't like what that implies. What is that? Mm, and you got sleep aid in the trash and you got more over there I don't like where this is going I really don't this has some uh, very dark uh, implications February 22nd today was a special day it's a day that I finally became a piano teacher the mother's name is Teresa and the daughter's Alice I was a bit worried at first if Alice was shy or if she simply disliked my teaching style. But as I broke some of the ice between us and told her, she began to smile a little. Alice seems like a lovely little girl. She learns very quick, and I'm happy to see her enjoy her first day. I'm glad Alice is my first student. When I was her age, I couldn't be tutored without Mom also being in the same room. I can't wait to teach her next week. So we're... So hold on, so we're a music teacher? 
Yeah, we're a piano teacher. Okay, that's a good job to have. That's a good job. March 5th, I'm finally back home. I was at the hospital yesterday because the baby is finally born. I wasn't expecting for him to be coming out this early. Mom seemed worried again when she brought me to the hospital. She just went back home to get my clothes, but I can't help but to think about my once bloated stomach now looking like a dried plum. The baby is sleeping right now. He looks healthy and he's indescribably cute. Mom said that the ear and the nose of the baby are like mine. He looks more like me than Steven. He doesn't have the look that made me pissed off every time I looked. Also, I need to decide on what to name him. I was thinking of a few names with Mom, but we haven't decided on what to name him yet. I know I'm overthinking it, but names are important. I want to take time. Okay, so we have Spencer, Ezra, Kobe, John, Jose, and Eric. I don't know. I don't really like any of those names. Name him Mason. It's an awesome name. I would know. Did I read this one? March 11th. Why? Everything was going great. Life was supposed to get better from here. My life's been better thanks to you, and I needed to thank you. I still haven't told you how much I appreciate you. Still haven't seen your grandson grow up, Mom. He just told me a few days ago about living longer with Ezra. Oh, so you went with Ezra. You should have went with Mason. It's a good name. Trust me. You never told me about your lung problems. You've helped me a lot, Mom, and I wanted to help you too. I wanted to give everything back to you. Why did you leave me without giving me the chance to repay for all the things you've given? Why? Never told me about your lung problems. <sighs> no, no, no. Does the, the mother, the, the character that I'm playing is, is her mother going through lung cancer? Oh, man. That's another tough situation. I can see where the mind boggling issues are starting to come into play. It's like everything is unraveling it at one time. Evie's piano lessons. Oh, I guess I get the, I guess I kept them. Okay. Value Mart. What's that? Tuna cans, tomato soup, buy one, get one discount. Heck yeah. Damn! What time period does this take place? Eight cans of tuna and 16 cans of soup for $5.33? Yo, I'd be eating soup every day at that price. What? I love soup. Soup's the best. I would gladly buy that much soup for five dollars. What's this? Aw. No pacifier. Another note down here. March 12th. I went to see a psychiatrist today and she told me that I was depressed. We had several hours to talk about being positive, going outside and being social. But I don't have anyone to talk to. And I used to say I don't have anybody to talk to either, but I have all of you now, which is awesome. We talk to each other. It's great. Makes me feel good. Everyone I had connections with are not around me anymore. Ezra is the only one that's still with me. These pills, they don't work. Never resort to pills. Never. Taking them won't bring back mom. Oh, nothing will be the same. Oh. Did the mom pass? How am I supposed to be happy like this? I would say those who can remain positive in a situation like this is a one with mental issues. I, hey, we all go through some hard times. So we all do. Uh, pe people can say they're living their best life all they want. But everybody goes through something. Oh, little baby wipes. I see you note. I'll read you there in a second. We have more pressing matters. What's for dinner? 
Soup. I like soup. So loud. Why are you so violent with the drawers? Well, there's a note there too. I don't know why. That door scared me. I was not expecting the loud squeak. Loud squeaky squawk. Okay, that picture I don't like. That's creepy. January 29th, I gave mom a call and told her everything. She sounded really worried. She told me to come back home. She said she wants to see my face again. I miss mom. I wonder how she looks like right now. She looks... I wonder how she looks like right now. I, th I think that's not word worded properly. I also miss the house. I haven't been there for five years. I wonder if the room looks the same. I also miss Lucky. I wonder how he's doing. I want to give him a walk like the good old days. I wonder if he remembers me. I can't wait to see him. All these memories is so nostalgic. I can't wait to go back home. So did the mom not pass? Did they just not talk for a while? I love that rug. It really ties the room together, man. Just don't pee on it. You know that reference. I appreciate you. Ooh, these are long. Today was the day I was waiting for. Back to my good old house. One of the first things we did was to figure out what I can do to earn money. Mom suggested to look for jobs I can do at home, and the first thing that came to my mind was to teach piano. I have a degree in teaching piano, and there's a piano in this house. Mom and I started by making flyers we can post on places to advertise. We also need a license for teaching private lessons, so I need to go get one. Hopefully I can start the lessons and get some customers by the time the baby is born. After that was done, we talked about what happened in the five years we weren't in contact. Mom told me that Lucky died a year ago because of old age. I was shocked Lucky died. I knew that he was really old, but it's not easy to let go. I wish I was there to say goodbye to him. He used to follow me around everywhere I go. He was my best friend. Aw. Aw. Donkey died. That's sad. Oh yeah, there was... Ooh, it's bright out there. March 5th. That one's got a red fight. I bet there's going to be four numbers in red. I bet that'll open the lock. I heard they separate the child if they recognize a parent with problems. I've already lost enough. Stephen left me. Lucky died. Mom died. Oh, mom did die. And now they're trying to take Ezra away from me. Stop taking every everything away from me. What did I do to deserve this? Oh. Yeah, so it's really leaning to mental breakdown from everybody leaving, so to say. Damn, I, I, that can be tough. Just, do you really know that? That's what I call music. Just, just, eh, eh. The rotate is so funky. Book of Cats. Exotic Parrot. Hmm. Wait. Stephen Bright. Oh, don't tell me her. X was an author and she has his book. No. No. X's are an X for a reason. Forget about them. February 18th. I finally got a call from someone. She called to have me teach her daughter to play piano. 
I'm thinking of accepting this offer and this offer only for now, considering my current situation is too tough to teach more than one person at a time, though I do think I need to accept more students as soon as I give birth. I really need to thank mom for all the things she's done for me, not just now, but also for everything up until now. I guess that's what it means to be a mother, to love and support your child. I aspire to become a mother that makes her child feel the same way. I, you always got to do as much as you possibly can for your children, no matter what. Uh, there's going to be a lot of sacrifices, of course, but uh, you always do it, no matter what. Oh, piano lesson. Okay. Oh, look at the time. Was that lucky? Oh, root. 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 Rotate. Oh, look at the poppy. I play the piano. Bing, bong, bing, bing. February 19th. I've contacted the mother who wanted me to teach her daughter and accepted her offer. The lesson is going to start from the 22nd. I need to leave a good impression on my first student. My family depends on this. I knew this was coming, but darn, I'm getting nervous. I need to start preparing. Okay, so we've got a nine. We've got a nine, five, six. I didn't pay attention. Was there a... Uh... I kind of wish those would have been in order too, by by the date. I, I feel like that would have made the story a little if five. I feel like it would have been a little easier to follow the the happenings. Handy dandy notebook. Okay, so let's see. Oops. Not that one. Are now, don't remember where these uh, all the notes are at to make this easy. Okay, 16th with the red six. Okay, 28 was eight. Fifteenth was five. 19th was 9. So, I'm assuming the code for the padlock over here I'm, I'm assuming it needs to go in order. So 15th, 16th, 19th, 28th, which will be 5, 6, 9, 8. 5, 6, 9, 8. See what that does. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's by the page number. So 28th was page 5. I don't think that's going to be right. Page nine. Sixteenth was page three. That was number fifteen. Okay. So I wonder. You hitting the wrong button. Ooh, that's a trippy reflection. I'll close you. I don't trust you. What if I did it in order by page number, which would be six, 
eight, nine, five. By page number. There. Pre Just close that bag. I'm just, I'm just, hey, y'all, y'all have good. I didn't do that. Nope. Nope. Neighbors, help. Can I hide in your house? I'm back. What do you mean, thump thump? What is it? I didn't read the note. I didn't know what to do. I don't know what to do either. I ran for the exit. I just knew I shouldn't be here. Beware. Be here, beware. When I got out, I dialed 911 and waited for what seemed like hours. What happened? I led them to the building. But when we got there, there was a party? Building. It wasn't there. Uh oh. This is all a figment of my imagination. Oh, that was the end of it. But I am curious. Press escape. Press the escape. I, I do want to go back in. I want to go back into. Let's see, I want to go back into that room with the skeleton, and I want to read the uh, note that was on the shower uh, before it ended, since I missed it. Oh shoot, there's a note right over here. I never saw this one earlier. Due to an accident at the construction site, Jones Creek has injured his fingers. Oh no, not the fingies. Not the fingies. <laughs> Wrong door. I'm just gonna go right in here. That was six. Uh, eight. Nine, five. <sighs> really makes you wonder what happened. I mean, truly. I mean, look at this bathroom. Bunch of, yeah, no, not a bunch more sleeping pills. February 18th, Ezra, it's okay. We will be together forever. We're just going to see your grandma. We can finally be all together. Oh, man. So that's her. That's Evie holding Ezra. Damn. Oh damn, that's that, that that's hard right there and I mean it really just makes you think. I'm gonna end it here, but this uh I gotta say th this game here it, it really brings into perspective it you never know what somebody's going through. It, it, if you can try to 
just give somebody a compliment. See if you can brighten their day. And because it's simple, just just being there for somebody, lending a hand could prevent that. Right, and with that, I will see y'all in the next video.